Welcome to Garage Hammer TV U Tools. It's David. I'm here with episode four, and I'm here with my youngest child, Kira. Say hi, Kira. Hi. Kira, as you guys know, if you listen to the show, has been painting ogres, but I asked her if she would help us today. I picked up a box of the Primaris Reavers. Now, some of you might have seen this box. Um, before the 10 pack came out, they were selling these easy to build three packs. Now, it does say ages 12 and up, and Kira is 11 and a half. No, I'm 11. And a half. Oh. <laughs> I don't know my own age. And uh, now, this says needs no glue, can be just push fit together. So, we're going to test it out by having Kira do it, because my theory is basically that. These little three packs are ways that you can get your younger audience in, um, you know, buy one of these rather inexpensive packs for your kids. Plus, it comes so, like, pre-set up. You get uh, instruction manual with the rules on how to put them together. Um, comes with three Marines and exactly what pieces to put. It does also come with decals which we're not doing today we're not playing the decal game and three bases now apparently this can all just be push fit together here's the sprue and um, we'll get a close-up of this in just a minute but as you can see uh, you've got 18 pieces each one is six pieces main torso back head uh, the nuclear backpack thing and the two arms so uh, Kira is still not clipper certified yet so what we're gonna do is I am gonna clip these up and separate them into the six piece sections and once I clip them together we're going to see if Kira can just put them all together uh, as per the instructions because I really think that's kind of what they're aiming for so once we do that, then uh, after that, we'll come back and see how this works and also see how well it works. It says no glue required. So we're going to see how well these things stick together with no glue. So as you can see, here's the sprue. Um, pretty nicely detailed. 18 pieces, one sprue. Everything pushes together. Everything's numbered and fit. I'm going to start cutting this up. Uh, piece by piece, pieces one, two, three, four, five, six. There's piece number one. And I'm just going to literally take our clippers and clip each piece and put them together in a group so that Kira can. Whoops, there's one, two. Where's number? That's number three. Okay, so we clipped all the models and now we are going to go into and Kira's gonna start putting these guys together so gonna watch in right here first she's getting the back and the head just sort of together slide the head in there make sure his face is forward Got them in there? Mm -hmm. All right, now tighten them up. Oops. You got them? Yep. All right, is he all the way? Hold on, let's take a look. Yep, squeeze, make sure he's all the way cl closed. Got him? Good. Yep. Now make yep. sure that arm's on the right side, or the correct side, I should say. All the way on. That's going to twist it on because it's a twist, like, um... Alright. There we go. And then the gun arm. And put the pack on. And that's going to be a tight fit, I think. Hold on one second. One thing Oops. you want to learn with these guys. That's okay. Cool. Oh, yeah, if whatever side it's on, the, it's close. You want to face him towards the side that's got the most base. So you want to have the most base in the front of him. 
I need to put the that jetpack on twice. Well, there you go, straighten the jetpack out. All right, and it's not a jetpack, but I know what we're talking about. <laughs> All right, so do you want to adjust his arms or anything like that? Nope. All right, can't see him. Let's nope. take a look. Sure. So here we go. Now he seems that he's all sticking together, doesn't he? And yep. you can adjust his arms into any pose you want. So you can have the gun out and the arm up. It's all together, it's all in. So what do you think, Kira? Does this guy need a little glue or is he okay like this? He looks okay like that. Okay. Can I put the next one? Sure thing. I'm gonna leave one right here. And you do all the work right over there. Make sure his head's facing the right way, or else it's not going to go on all the way. There you go. Is it down? No, the head's loose. So I'm going to push it. Oh. Need a little help? Can you undo it? I think I did it wrong. No, he's good. Hold on. Oh, yes? He just got to. There you go. He's tight. You gotta squeeze him real down. This, so this is the one part you have a little trouble with. You gotta squeeze him so he's all the way together. So fun, build it. <clears throat> there we go. Hundred percent tight. Now look, that head doesn't jiggle at all. Kira, I need you to build over here though, so you're on camera. There you go. <laughs> We got all three of them put together. What do you think, Kira? I really like building these. All right, well, okay, so we're back and we've got three, whoop, oh. we've got three Primaris Reavers and dude with the arm that is holding the knife behind him, mm. arm doesn't really want to stay on too well. I got to be honest with you. Uh, I'm thinking glue is the right answer here. Yeah, I'm thinking that now, too. Yeah, we're both thinking glue is... The best idea. Is the best plan. Um, but you can, I mean, they're easy to put together. Kara was able to put them all together. Um, a little bit of a squeeze for the two body parts. For the back and the head connecting to the body. But other than that, they're pretty nice models. They've got really crisp, clean detail. Um, like I said, they come with the decals and stuff. Kira really actually likes them. She's asked already asked me twice if she can keep them. Um, cause she's interested in painting them when she's finishing up with her ogres. But, uh, while no glue is required, I think some glue might be advisable. What do you think? I really think they need glue because when, when I was just sick, Sitting here while I was looking at them, one the parts fell off real quick, but I had to put it back together. Yep. All right, so that's it. That's our video on this quick fit, and um, uh, we're gonna do another video. Kira wants to do another video. We actually got a uh, box from Games Workshop. Uh, for getting started with Stormcast Eternals, three quick Stormcast with a paint set. And to. she's going to do that one up and let you know what she thinks of that one for an upcoming video. So um, hopefully you enjoyed this. And um, if you do, please uh, like this. And subscribe. And feel free to subscribe to the channel. Thank you for reminding me, Kira. Until <laughs> next time, see you later, you tools. Until next time. Um, Thanks for watching. Thank you.